Say what you want about the $350 coach. This man doesn't lack confidence. He doesn't lack drive. He was talking in the preseason about what he planned to do <clears throat> in season 13. Because I'm about to, I'm about to legitimately undertake. Now I've been, like I said, I've been fucking around in preseason. I'm legitimately going to push for challenger. It's I love hearing the drive. I love hearing the determination. It's not even about money. Not about the money. It's not. There's something about when people tell you you can't do something that really rubs me the wrong way. I love this. The sportsman inside of me. want to admit it. When you're talking about League of Legends credentials, nobody's giving a shit about League of Legends credentials until me. Very and good that's point. fine. <clears throat> I mean, but you're not going to tell me that I'm not good at video games. I've been around the block. I may be 34. I fully 100% intend to make Challenger. The coach niece before the season began made some pretty bold claims. He was going to make the most insane grind in season 13 and get Challenger in Korea, presumably, where he's playing. The season, unfortunately, hasn't been so kind back to him. Uh, currently 43% win rate, 85 wins, 114 losses. Um, now I know what a lot of people are going to say, and it's like, Drew, stop giving this guy, stop giving this guy attention, stop doing videos on him. But I just find it absolutely fascinating, okay? I like to keep posted with tracking him. I am actually rooting for him. I'm not kidding in saying I want this guy to get Challenger. I want him to prove me wrong. I want him to justify his $350 coaching. But until then, I'm going to keep the viewers informed. I'm going to keep the people that are out there paying these ridiculous fees for coaching um, that, hey, you know, maybe you should be trying to, you know, negotiate down a little bit of a lower per hour coaching cost um, and just know what you are dealing with. Now, I don't necessarily think league rank goes one and one with um, coaching ability. I do, however, think it's a little bit suspect when you're making massive bold claims as a challenger player um, and then coming out, putting that in your coaching uh, titles, putting that in your advertising, but then not being able to back it up. Today, we're gonna jump on the roof, break down one of Coach Nice's games, see what he's up to, see what's going wrong. 43% win rate, plat one. This doesn't really make sense for a high ranking player. Um, and I just wanna get on the rift and decipher what the hell is happening in his client. But just before we hit the game, gentlemen, I wanna introduce you to Gamer Subs. If you're looking for an edge over your opponent this split, look no further than Gamer Subs. You have delicious energy drinks for us gamers. They have so many different flavors to choose from. Um, one that recently came out, Titty Milk. It's my favorite. It really brings me back nostalgia to my childhood. They have so many different delicious flavors to choose from. And of course, you can't be doing it without your own beautiful little waifu cup here to accompany you when you game. What are you waiting for, guys? The link in the description down below. Try it out. Let me know what you think. It's so easy to check out and use their website. You can use the MidBeast promo code also for a juicy uh, discount. You can just put it straight into here. MidBeast, that is my name. You can come in. You're going to be getting a 10% discount. Let me know what you think about the flavors and how you perform. Jumping onto the Rift now, you can see 197 games, 43% win rate. B1 at the moment. We are going to be starting red. Hecarim Jungle. Hecarim and Zack seem to be his most played. Uh, both really nice. I think Zack is one of the highest win rate champs in the game. And jungle is a very good one behind carry. Right nice leash here. Um, so he did start the season. Take note. He started the season playing a lot of his one trick Trindimir. Um, but he ended up getting a 43% win rate. And I think he just decided that top lane, you couldn't have much of a carry role. So he's come back to the jungle where he spent a lot of his time in the preseason trying to uh, influence games more so. Which, by the way, credit to him, he actually went up to Diamond 1 playing Zac jungle, spamming it. And he did very well. He was having good games uh, towards the end of the preseason. But he showed glimmers of hope and then just... Oh. Bot side into red. Red into bot side is this is actually a really good gank path. Goes for the ash. Doesn't pop the ghost. Interesting. It's not gonna be able to kill. Are they gonna be able to if they can get if they kill him here, it's over. In Korea they'll AFK. Baits the heal out from the Caitlyn. He goes out of vision. Did have ignited on though. It's gonna we still do have the vision as first blood. And can we clutch it? We do. We get the Thresh. 
Caitlyn's going for the Ash. Good flash. One more auto. He'll have to he'll have to shove this in and reset as fast as humanly possible. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. I think it was a, a good idea of a gank. I think it just wasn't quite executed right. Right idea though. What about the CS thing, but we're gonna get a base in here. Do 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 do. Send to the top side. You need to be pinging and tracking enemy jungle for your team. Like you have to be. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for Lucid. Lucidity boots. Uh, goodbye, Cled with the counter. Yeah, as I said, and I, uh, I even said this on his last showing game, he needs to be tracking enemy jungle and pinging his team where the highest chance they're going to be ganking or where he's I'm clearing. So to go back down to I'm still level four, I guess. At least it'll probably do his red. There you go. Mm, Ash is level four there too. They can pull a freeze bot side, get the scuttle. Could be on here. But if Lee Sin catches him. Rush. Uh, I don't think Leeson's there. So Lee like red and like tap the bot or what? Lot of downtime here. What was he just? Okay. Just waiting tent. Okay. Oh. It almost did Krugs and his chickens there in that time. If she lands the charm, he can look for it. Much downtime. Hovering again. This is so much time invested. It has to work, and now you're forced. Rise had cleanse as well. Lee Sin counter gank. Two lands. My god. I ha when I'm a mid laner and my jungle is forcing like that, and he stays 20 seconds taking. Problem is, he's sharing experience with me as well, so now Rise will hit six first. I guess in the Rise Ari matchup, it doesn't matter that much, but like if it's a more level six dominant matchup, like a Zed or something, like it's bloody important. Mm. So 45 seconds wasted there on a force gank. Rise had cleanse the whole time, so it should never have been on the play, I don't think. It should be full clear into probably six. He's gonna look bot. Good counter by the Lee. I don't know. I don't think he was on vision. I think I think Rise just as a mid laner, and you see the enemy mid playing like that. I think the if the Rise had any brain cells, he's like, Hecarim is here somewhere. Because as a mid laner, you just always. Bro, you're I not get a fucking wasting and now he's leeching XP again. Now he's gonna have to reset. This he's gonna force it. Hop ghost. I fucking hate this guy so fucking much. Go straight for the ash thresh. Gangplank ultimate counter. Fucking garbage, man. Garbage. Spam pings the set. Sucks to see. He's sitting in the bush. I'm pinging go. Now he's scared of Lee Sin on the red. Um. He's just terrified. insane yeah leeson takes the dragon he's on dragon the whole time i'm literally set up and try and just watch that guy just stand there with fucking hex flash up and he just doesn't even walk at him man like it's just wild to me my cled deserves a better bot lane than this that's good no my cled's dead twice Gank top, then a solo. Upstate, Lee Sin's very far ahead. I just felt like he was forcing too much. 
on things that were definitely not certain. Especially into an Ash Thresh bot side. At this point, after seeing him not have like his screen unlocked or whatever the fuck that was. I think going bot lane again after that is probably a losing proposition. I'm not convinced. Level 6 here, 8. A little bit slow, but... At least in on the bot side. Maybe I'll be able to get a top lane gank into the gangplank into a Herald. Whenever I verse good junglers, and don't get it twisted, I have versed good junglers. I versed uh, Bo over in EUS, rank 1 guy. Um, did take him down, don't like to talk about it. Um, I, I, you know... Tarzan, like Tarzan, not Tarzan, Tarzan. Um, some big name junglers. And one thing I notice is that they are just permanently doing things, bro. And they're just at the right place, right time. Even in bad games, it's crazy their accuracy on counter ganks. Um, if Lee Sin's bot, it's a Herald topside gank. Instant action, bro. It's always. I'm gonna watch a jungler like this. Like, don't get twisted. I'm not the greatest jungler, but I can. As I watch, like I can already point, I can already see there's a lot of glaring issues. Obviously, you know, it, the whole, it could have been a little bit different, I guess, the bot side gank. It could be a little bit further ahead. Yes, the, the, the obviously the set is not playing very efficiently, but League of Legends, you can never focus on what your teammates are doing bad. You can only focus on what you're doing well, or what you can influence into the game. Not able to get that gank off and 1700 gold, rise TP. Blade's gonna have to go for the dive. He doesn't stick around. But it actually gets the solo. That's really good. I'm wondering if he. I don't think. He might be able to find the Lee here. But yeah, I, I don't think if he stuck around, he'd be able to help the Kled too much. And as a good support, Thresh roams up to the Herald. 9 minutes 50. One thing in Korea, even the Plat Diamond subs and jungles are freakishly good. At least master tier NA level, in my opinion. The way that they rotate on the, the the map and set up for plays. And don't get it twisted, it's still early in the season and Nice has so much time. And dude, he's played 200 games already. He has so much time to turn this around and he may do it. Yeah, I don't really... And when he does, I will do a video on him succeeding and talking about how he doesn't give up. But until then, I'm sorry, like... I've even had a thumbnail made of like, you know, waiting for when he turns as a bam. We're online here. Lee Sin overextended. We get the E, shut down over to Nice, and this could be it. There's no play here. And I will put a link to his stream in the description down below if you do want to watch him or inquire about some coaching. Obviously, yes, I, I do think... Um, I'm trying to get to I do think it's overpriced. But once again, if you want to pay that, or if you want to watch him, he I mean, dude, he's... Diamond, 4, Plat, Korea. Like, it's it's still not a bad rank. He does do... I've seen some of his coaching lessons, and you if you're a, if you're a lower-ranked player, I do think you'll actually pick up on some stuff. Just putting it out there. W should be max next. Spotted out by Ash E as always. And I reckon this Kled is who we play through to get the win. He's shown promise in these aggressive dives in the 1v1s, 1v2s. Help this Kled out. I reckon you're going to get a win. Oh, that was... You've got to shove the lane out for him. Oh, you can... Mm. It's tough. Probably could have looked for a die. I mean, he didn't have ult, so I guess he's scared of getting kited. What's his build? He's going Sundra. Like, most of the Hecarims I'm seeing in my games are doing Spear of Sojin, Muramana, 1v9... Dante's Hecarim setup. I don't know if Nice knows about it or just thinks this setup's better. I'm not too familiar on the Hecarim builds and what's the highest win rate, but. Pulling it as I see it. 2 0, 80 farm. I mean, that's not too horrendous, you know? I'm gonna grab the red buff and we can easily turn the game with a couple more fights. Might 
Mine is up. I don't know if I'd use it. Leeson's probably going to try and stack Dragon. Maybe we could look for a steal. Don't have mid prior, don't have bot prior. On farming. Eat. What? What? The hell was that? Why does he normal cast Hecromel? In our rise versus their rise moment. Think about the rises I've had. I never do shit like that to get away. <laughs> That's Sundra. There we go. Play towards the Kled, I'm telling you. If you want to win, play towards this Kled. I don't know if he's a Smurf, but a, Kled, a Korean Kled will 1v9 the game. Botlane is up in CS. Gangplank ganks with the onto a Hecarim is so easy. I know. Uh... Yeah, the backing. Lee Sin bot side counter. This could be a good counter. I do think this set is not the greatest to play around. He's played around this bot lane so much this game. It's going to be seen on the wave. Being seen like this as a jungler is so detrimental. Charm. Lee Sin. Counter? No. Kled has ult. Kled has ult. He might look. Yeah, yeah. Kled ult. Kled ult. Kled ult. Ghost. Now he's actually going to look for a really aggressive Raptor steal. I agree, it was a bad play. We went for that, and then the gangplank moved through, threshold, done. You've got to look topside, bro. Gangplank all comes through. Yep. Kill, 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 go. Oh. He sees you. He times out. Bot lane dead. Yeah. I still think top lane. I think you gotta dive top. These are all gone. He just did them. Should be dive on top right now. Like this. I don't know why he just pathed like that. Now he has time to clear the wave. I'm full health gangplank. Ugh. Should be okay. Fuck that. Mm, here comes Rise. Yeah. They just small timings like that. Well, you should know those aren't up. And he has to wrap around gangplank. Then was able to clear the minions, which means he just tanking is so much more awkward. I'm talking shit about the rise, but like realistically, Ari's been playing reasonably well. Ari's doing good. I agree. Um, Ari Kled are both doing fine. Apparently, is playing out of his mind also. Play onto this Kled. Self-sufficient player. Something fan. I remember a couple of Kled players I played with actually when I was in Korea. I've done four career trips and I made a lot of friends along the way. I don't keep in contact with them, which I which kind of sucks because they're all in the league client and then my accounts get deleted by Riot. And then I go back to Korea and some of them I'll find in like Plat or Diamond or even High Elo and they'll remember me. And it's always like a nice rekindling of a friendship or people that remember me inting them and they hate me. We all know what happened between me and Khan in 2017. We don't need to speak about that. Or oh, he remembers me. We start up the Herald. I like this play. I like this play. I like this game state. I like this Kled. I like this Ari. Pull it a little bit. Yep. They definitely... Are we going to sweep? They truly... Mm. Lisa moves in. Gets the steal. Gets the Herald. He's not going to be able to escape though, which is nice. Gets the kill. 
Now, maybe that's fine because they should be able to set up for a free Drake. Great right, timer should be like, what, 25 seconds? This is possible. Yep. Ghost. Yep. The ult there? Tower's gone. This is massive. Into the dragon is it's game this is game changing play. Get free dragon now and reset. Winnable. Say winnable, bro. The combo is nice. Nice. When I dress a good hair cream, usually they do they charge their E, but then they R. Fear them and then they pump them with the E even further back into the team. It's you can't counter the play. It's, it's so hard and annoying. Oh, Rise solos. Rise is broken at the moment. That's not what I want to see. Rise mid lane. Like Rise is so stupid. Getting nerfed on Wednesday, I think. Or how has he got 200 games? How long has the season been going for? I swear I only have like 60 games. I guess in Korea, you can get twice the amount of games in, in the same amount of time than me. I guess he's a little bit lower ELO, so the Q times are low. DD. It's under a DD. I would imagine. I think, uh, I think getting a Baron here is possible because at this stage, um, we can get all the vision and we can just turn on them if if we need to. It's really tough for, for Lee Sin to contest. He's facing a Ari with good spatial awareness. I like it. Ari shouldn't have teeped. That not sucks. Very spatially aware after That's all. not spatially aware at all, bro. He's not getting onto a NASA uh, airplane anytime soon. Fuck with the Baron pick. Anyways, he goes in, he gets vision control. This is good. He, like Him and the set are so far off tune. It, it's kind of hard for him to make plays, but it is what it is, I suppose. Okay, let's do it. Let's make a pick and get Nash. They literally warded, yeah, what the hell? We saw them put that ward in there. Are they going to start? There's no way they go back to start this, is there? Look at the macro of the Ari. She's so confused where to be because she used TP. Now Gangplank can free shove through bot side. Plus he has the ultimate to influence. This macro is really bad. Now Nice feels like he's forced to either start Baron or make a pick. Uh -oh. yeah. But yeah, this is good. This is good. Gangplank. Wait, where's Caitlyn? Where's Kait Caitlyn's bot, guys? It's like this This level of play is so We're gonna fully commit for it Oh god Rise is here though Rise EQs Nice is going for it Just don't think it's very good at all god bless. Hit the tower, hit the tower, hit the tower I could not get out of that spot I need to go fucking frozen hard after seeing that bullshit. It's ridiculous. Frozen hard? I could not get out of that situation. Whose scaling is better, do you guys think? Honestly, I know for a fact it's enemy team, out. but I was just checking. There. Rise Gangplank with an Ash Thresh. It's a very good playmaking team. Great objective control. Gangplank scaling with the Rise will get them through. Have good wave clear. Ekram cleared Ari. A really good engages, but the Caitlyn is just... Also, Caitlyn doesn't scale, but it's just the way she's been playing gives me instills no confidence. Ari up against the Rise in the bot lane. Once again, she has no TP. This has to be a pick on the gangplank. Go, go. If Lee Sin was smart, he'd counter. I don't know where he is. Order the barrel. Okay. Ash comes through for gangplank. Take it.
No one's playing waves. Top lane wave. Flare ults in. TP in from Rise. Like Gangplank. Gangplank TP, Gangplank ult, Cled ints. Good kill on the Gangplank. This actually might be... No, Ari's not there once again. Rise EQs will clutch everybody up. And you can get a W. Stands in the trap. Ari and Everfrost into... Mm. So Rise is outplaying the whole lobby right now. No, no, no. That was an outplay. That was such a bad spot to be fighting in. They all had cover from the uh, terrain. Try again. Are they gonna? Ooh, they're going for Baron. Um. Okay. Well, they get the dragon at least. Consolation prize. I have to itemize this way. I really don't like whatever whatever you're trying to build. I just don't think there's a way you're going to survive. No magic resist against Ryze is just yeah, dead. Yeah, this Ryze is level 16 now. I'm telling you, man, these fucking mid gaps. Ari played fine. She's doing well. Had nothing to do with it. Just Ari is not a champion compared to Ryze in this meta. Uh, he can't get much of a level lead beyond that, though. He has Frozen Heart, though. And Ari doesn't really do damage. Cled Engage is kind of chucking. I would say this feels pretty comfortable that he's in this elo. Like, he doesn't really look to be out of place. He doesn't look to be standing out. It seems to be... quite fine for him, I guess. Like, if I, if you were to blind watch it, you don't really... He doesn't really look like a smurf. It doesn't really... It doesn't look like a board account, obviously. Like, he's still making good plays, and he has good decision-making. Rise. As the Baron, someone like I don't know what his team are doing. They're running. They're running around like headless chickens. By the way, you might ult this actually. Ah, yep. E back. Nice. There you go. They're gonna pick Rise here. This is massive. Zaraf shield. Oh my God, he lived. Yeah, that's over. Thank you, Zaraf's and Phase Rush. Head back. Get tapped. Bang playing ult comes through. Lee Sin. Lee Sin will go down, I think, here, but it's... We don't have any damage. We're dead as well. Sorry, but... Ben ping on the Ari. Just never in position to catch anybody. The macro is terrible, I agree. It's nuts. <clears throat> nuts. This D4, P1 is so hard to win. I, I re It's one of the hardest elos to climb out of. Oh, that's a really good setup by Thresh. Ashara goes wide. I don't think it's unwinnable, but they're going to need a hardcore force with the Kled because they're going to... The Rise is going to have Death Cap on the next base and it's going to be absolutely... Here we go. Pick him. TP comes through from the Ari. This is fine. Does Rise have ult? But I hope not. Everfrost. Thank God. Come. The kid's finally going to fucking ult. EQ. EQ. You're gonna have death cap now too. What a champion! I love the um. I mean, Rise's pick so so much in competitive play at the moment. The waves. No one's ever like it feels like he's eating a lot of the waves because no one's. Let's perma a ramming. Ellen almost ie. Nice. Alright, frozen heart completed. We need magic resist, bro. Like, we need magic resist. If you don't get magic resist, trust me, the rise is going to shred. He's just going to completely dominate you.
Force of Nature, maybe. Go in. Green Lee Sins, man. They're so, uh, so mobile. There's a little Dragon Dance commences. Kled has to back. Kled doesn't have TP. Might could be a good bait. Gangplank Holt baited out. Into a... Mm, I don't know how this is going to pan out. The Rise is not killed. Lee Sin flipping and flopping. And... There's just... This, this game is just no hope from here, I don't think. Feels like I'm being griefed. Feels like I'm being griefed, he said. I don't necessarily think it means you're getting grieved. I do think the team comp is very hard to play into. Every team has a rise and a thresh. They can self peel a Hecarim so easily. And you don't have the one shot build, so it's like... You guys don't have really have enough damage. He's going to go for the Cleaver next. Interesting. Comes through. Gangplank. Ooh, that's a really nice play by Ari. Dead. Not much damage. Rise one more EQ. Don't even think about going for Rise. Cool, man. <clears throat> oh, no flash next up. 34-40. Not timing flashes or anything, which is always something you can do to improve your game. Many like flat, not many flash timers, not many F keys, not much enemy jungle tracking. Hey, good work. Gatlin does get the double, and that might mean Baron because Rise and Lee, 50 seconds. That's big. How fucking time these guys did something. <laughs> this is what needs to happen, and this is how you need to be thinking when you play League. Baron, Rise has no flash. Kled ult pick him end game with Caitlyn Shop. Only way you end, it's a two minute, it's a two minute window of play. You need to end off of it. It needs to be forced and that needs to be on your brain exactly. And you need to visualize what happens. Trust me. Visual visualization is a big thing in League. We'll take blue first. I don't agree with the blue take. You have frozen heart, bro. Yeah. Mine is up. Should be free. Smite. He's gonna shove through one more wave. I have no problem with this. I think this is fine. Into a reset, and you guys, you guys have this barren window to end. By the way, maybe you get a stopwatch here. Right, Indul gem. Mean, Rise is d literally Rise cannot get any bigger this game. So you hundred percent has a full hard. item slot to sell. A hundred, he for sure can get bigger. A little easier. I said this last game, and it was true, and it's true again. Game should be easier now. That. Kled, alt, track down the rise, cancel ultimate. Please do it. Please don't let this Baron just fizzle out. You guys need to go. Guys, we need to go. There he is. They can even, like, you, I don't know, bro. You just have to force. Go, go, yep. Dun dun dun. Nice is. Why are we so far behind? Oh, he's so late. Down the ash. Ults the ash. Ash with the gale force under tower. Ash stopwatch. Comes in, gets the thresh. Oh, this is nice. Only the person died was the uh the the set. However, they don't have any Baron minions. Their wave clear is. The wave clear is dead. They have no minions. They have no minions here. There's no minions coming, guys. It's going to take a long time. Bought it. Ash no stopwatch. Pretty good. Rise flash still down. Couldn't really move because the waves were in disgusting spots, but... Yeah. You guys got to prep your waves better. That gets bot lane tower, Caitlyn. Hey, oh you can get mid, get mid lane tower, get mid lane tower, get mid lane tower. Okay. 
it gets it. Dude, when did they have time to farm any of it? Like, I, I legitimately do not understand when this team found any time to farm this fucking wave or any wave for that matter. Doesn't matter if you miss the CS. Okay. Elixir has been purchased. Interesting buy. Well, this game you build Black Cleaver because Rise is sitting on fucking Frozen Heart and level leads out the ass, so. So it's really going to change much. Dragon Fight upcoming. It's Sol in 45 seconds. You don't have that Cleaver. Caitlyn does have a pretty good build. But as I said, they're definitely outscaled, so they need to... They, it doesn't... Like, sometimes you're outscaled, guys, but it doesn't matter. Like, as long as you're... Oh, God. As, as long as your team can coordinate, you can outplay a scaling comp. Don't get it twisted. Rise comes in, one taps. Like this is such a good job. spot for Rise to be fighting in. EQ, EQ, EQ. EQ. By what, like a frame or something? It's a two for one. And the, they deny soul. Go, go. I mean, I guess it's okay. They could win. 34 minutes. Some shit out like that. Who's up? They can win. They can end this game right here. Mid lane wave through. They have Ash Thresh. 34. Baron's not up anymore though, right? Mm. Souls denied. I mean, I don't really like how he played that fight, but it ends up working out. Ash using her good karting ability. Ari, E flash, it's really good. Good hook by Thresh. Ari will go down. I like the way that's Ash is playing. So we got three mountains now on two blue side and it's actually a pretty open game. It was like whatever team misplays next fight. And this is the problem with going red elixir. He could have cleaver now. He spent too much gold on that. Maybe that was a difference maker in last fight though. Who knows? Doper is somebody and I know there's a lot of high low players like this. They don't buy elixirs until they're full full build. Because a lot of times you're like, oh, you'll think this is the this is the last fight, and then it's not the last fight, and then you you spent two thousand gold on elixirs, and you're not full build. I, need to hit this item. I know Dopa was one that did that a lot of the times. Funnily enough, I actually bought an elixir against Dopa, and I finished the game with it. So, look who's laughing now. Rise to complete the cleave before the next fight. I don't know if you're going to get that crowd, brother. Hit the reset. Team can't fight here. Obsessed with getting these blues, bro. He will get it. Lee Sin was last coming through. We'll Q over. Shouldn't... Oh, pops the sweeper. Shouldn't be able to swap, swap, uh, spot him. And now he'll get the cleaver. Control ward. This is good. I still think the Kled alt down mid could work. Could work absolute wonders. It's either that or get getting control through here is really hard. If you can set up the Caitlyn traps in the right spots, careful. Would be nice. Hmm. Just go. Just go. No, Kled, don't die. Nice goes in. Gangplank ult is baited out. He's going to wait for it. And if Kled is able to quickly reset and then ultimate back in, it could be one fight as Set dies for no reason. Those Caitlyn traps are horrendous. And this probably will be a free Baron for the enemy team. I don't think... I don't know if you want to force a 4v5. Shove through mid. Pro yeah. I think Baron's gone. I can't see shit. <clears throat> I don't think go for it. Next fight, I would say, would be hopefully on Soul Point. Maybe give an inhib through Baron Siege. Don't know. It's gonna be tough. Led, be careful, buddy. We 
just going to shove through bot side here. All right. As long as nobody gets picked, the enemy, they should do a Baron Siege on mid bot or mid top. Maybe you could look for a pick between then and now. Let's have a, let's have a geese. All right, we got Ghost. But all Kled ult comes through. Oh my god, they're going for it. We pop Ghost. Eevee comes through. Lee Sin is huge ult by Coach Nice. This is massive. This could be game ending. Ari gets a pick on a Lee Sin. Nice goes down. Ari trying to get some damage off. I don't think so. And... Caitlyn, go, go, go. It's just set remaining in that GG. This guy just... 39 minutes in, two people up. GG. All right, I need a break. <clears throat> League is not being fun, fun with me right now. It was a close game. I think he definitely had a lot of errors. He got a bit of a lead or something, but then like a lot of downtime. Very fair to me at the moment. Enemy team will unfortunately get the win. He puts a couple of spam pings out there to show the message. Definitely outscaled. Comp wasn't fair to him. Like we just don't like we just don't get teammates right now. I'm gonna take We're not a break getting... and then maybe come back and it'll probably even out, but Jesus fucking Christ. Rough day for Coach Nice. That's it, gentlemen. That's the video. I know a lot of people are gonna try and give him hate. I don't want to. I don't want you guys to give any hate to Nice. I just want to document it. Yes, it's pretty funny. The amount he charges, yada yada yada. But like, dude, he has an underdog story. Everybody's doubting him. It would be absolutely huge if he can clutch a challenger run. Huge. Is it gonna happen? Probably not. But damned if I don't love watching it and watching him goddamn try his heart out. If a 34-year-old man can get Korean Challenger, maybe I can as a 52-year-old. Catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Cannot breathe.